go to google.com and we write download selenium so this is the first site the first link that we're gonna click that is for seleniumhq.org download so from here there are different selenium versions a selenium IDE selenium server so for Java for C++ so these are av available on this website selenium HQ so we're gonna download the latest selenium server and that is 2.16.1 so this is the latest selenium RC server available so we'll simply click on download and I have already downloaded it so this is in available on my system so once it gets downloaded so it will it will come up like this so this is a jar file which is selenium server standalone jar file so the first thing that we need to do is we need to start the selenium server before running our program we need to make sure that selenium server is started otherwise your program will not gonna run for that we'll go to command prompt and we'll access the folder we where we have kept the selenium server so we'll write cd c drive softwares jars and then we'll write java hyphen jar and then selenium server and then we click on enter and our standalone standalone server has been started now we'll go to the eclipse and create a new project we'll right click and we'll click on new and then we'll click on the project and we select the java project and we'll give the project name as let's give the name as rc day one we'll click on finish and then we're gonna include the jar file that we have downloaded so we'll go to the build path and then we'll click on the configure build path so we'll do it from here we'll do we'll right click on the project and then we'll click on the build path and then we'll click on the configure build path so click on the add external jar file and this is the jar file that we have downloaded we'll use this jar file we'll add this jar file we'll click on ok so this jar file will get added so now we need to make sure that everything is working fine for that we'll create a new class we'll give the class name as rc demo we'll check the public static void main method we'll remove this comments and and we'll write selenium selenium equal to new default selenium here we'll include the default selenium and then we'll include then we'll also import the selenium so we'll add the arguments to the default selenium method that says So we'll add localhost. We'll give the port number as 4444. We'll give the browser as Firefox and the URL we need to give as HTTP. Let's say www. Google.com 
first of all we need to start start the browser so we'll write selenium dot start and then write selenium dot open it will open up the browser so it will go to the default page and then we'll write selenium dot maximize window maximizer So we'll do up till this much to make sure that uh, the, the jar file that we have downloaded uh, is the, the selenium server is working fine or not. So we'll save it and we'll run this program. So we'll click on the run button. Let's see. Okay. So this remote control window has been opened and the Google has been launched. So which means that the Selenium server is successfully installed on our system.